you gotta shoot the belly until it opens and, and lets her out. And so the cream there was able to get get her out. Which was huge. Like that's a huge like I said, I mean Femstep is probably the best player on the team and I think they need you know, they, they want to especially as a scout with her class. Right. Like you need that energy, you need that person to go around and picking up that stuff and feeding the engineers, so it's yeah. really important. Oh, there's somebody coming around out of here. Yeah, they got to do drone elites. You got to watch them. Now, I think I want to point that's, out, that's it's a, important to note that the two teams are playing on the same map. They apparently have set up in two different areas, right? Well, that's the great thing about the game. It's like with that emergent gameplay, because you can put the fabricator anywhere you want. Right. It's up to you to decide where you want to fortify. You, you, don't, you can put it in a spawn, but again, you're, you're kind of doing it in a dead end with no escape. You can take the high ground. You can, you can do whatever you want, really. And that's one of the things we really want to bring back with Board 3.0. Like, where? let the players choose where they want to defend. Let the players discover it. Like, it's, no. it's all about it, right? So, all right, looks like things are getting a little rough on Team Pepchef. Let's go to Gold Glove. They're currently at level 46, chewing their way through. They're reviving. Yeah, and again, you see the Deadeye Sniper in the FR. If you're out of cover for too long, you are likely to get tired. So, you can see they repaired really those turrets. Playing out of from cover. You can see they repaired the turrets. Gold Glove came back in and... Uh, There's a nice headshot nice there. Getting rid of a Deadeye was really important. And you can see them. They kind of go out. They push the limit. And then they roll or crawl back in behind the laser fence. Yeah. And let and let the turret kind of mop up what's left. Yeah, but now again, we're starting to see a push on the left side by the enemy. So the, the barrier over there is about half health. The sentry is starting to get a little low on ammo. So the engineer is really going to have to make sure to keep an eye on that left side. Almost you can see the ammo. You can see the ammo line at the bottom there. That's the blue line below where it says kills 50. Um, so they've got to get that thing refilled because it's been super critical as the enemy makes it down those stairs and into sight. We have four enemies left. That's Zion. Dangerous though. That's a blue shot. He could wipe the whole team with one shot here. Yeah, so they, this they, is, they, can, they, got, they can end up losing everybody. You see the uh, engineers. There we go. 46 complete. Well done. <clears throat> They're making a real strong push here. Real strong push. They've got some. They've got some stuff in the bank. They're doing really well. Team Fem Femstep is over here. They are uh, currently sitting at level uh, wave 40. They're set up in a different part of the map. It looks like it's a little more open. There's other more. Uh, they can get surprised a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, I mean they gave them. I like that they, they sort of allowed themselves to have that that retreat. They they kept the room in the back and sort of uh -oh. place to fall back to. Um, so it's good to be sort of this far forward, but again, I just didn't think they got the engineer support they needed in order to get this for the fortifications they needed. To, to I want to point out we just saw. We just saw. Oh, that was tough. Josh, uh, we just saw one of the AI using uh, one of the human players as a meat shield. <laughs> yes. Okay, I just want to make sure we, we do you, if, you, if you roll it back if you're at home, because it's quite impressive. <laughs> and then we're going to see this, and that's oh, ow, 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 headache. That's one of the things that with the with the drone elite, the drone elite is, is, has an, an AI that is much more like the multiplayer players. So they do a lot more of those sorts of techniques, that idea of taking a meat shield, the way that you think can bounce around. Like when you get the higher levels, it's AI, very evil. They play a lot like a more of a human player. So All right, look at this bouncer. Yeah, it, it, you really want to try to interrupt those jumps. You want to make sure you don't get caught with those quills because you try to toe to toe it. Again, two and a half damage, two and a half action. Those quills will tear you up. So this is my kind of style of gameplay where you've got this fortification, you've got this safe area, you can come back and, and kind of reload and kind of just take a moment while the turrets are just machines and are ripping them apart. Yeah, like. I, I'm not sure uh, off the top of my head what it costs to get another century at this point or to get a shock century, but as soon as they get enough money or energy in the bank, they should definitely be investing because they're getting a lot of value. You saw that each century has got over 50 kills a piece. Like, you need to have those fortifications working for you. Imagine yeah. that you are you don't have those, and now the team has to get you kills. It's, like, it's just a lot of work. It can be done, but it's a lot of work. I can't believe this again. So we see Gold Glove again trying to use that FR to pull it back. And again, he's getting tagged from long range because you can of that see a little bit of buzz damage. pill action coming in here as well. If you keep, if you look sharp, you can see them, right? Oh yeah, well, the scions are coming in. They're you know they have you to bring in the moon shot, to bring in the buzz kill, and really that's what kind of Gold Glove's job is at this point: to take out the heavies before they come too big of a threat. But they've done a good job. They've the sentry forward close to the wire. They're, they're refilling them. They're healing them. Yeah, they just got to get enough energy to keep it. With distance out to the bank, they have plenty to keep that engineer fed. Yeah. 
So that's what's the important thing here. At this you're just tuning in, you're watching Horde 3.0, Gears of War 4. My name is Larry here of Xbox Live. It's Adrian Nelson sitting here with Rod Ferguson from the Coalition. He and I, no, 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 we are not doing a telethon. We are on our way, the first of 50. And uh, it's been it's been a heck of a road, hasn't what it? A, what a 50 it's been. It's amazing. We're at 47 of 50 right now on, on uh, Team Gold Glove. Yep. Team Pump Staff have hit a, hit a spike in difficulty with the boss wave of 40, but they're, they are fighters. They, they did an amazing job getting to 20 and yep. taking it all the way from 20 to 40. So their their skill is carrying them along. It's amazing to watch. But you got to get that engineer in to fix that, uh, to fill yeah, up those Most sentries uh, those are empty, turns. but I think the engineer's the ones down there in the corner. Now you'll notice the red bar in the upper left-hand corner. That's getting lower once that's the number of enemies left in the wave. Once it gets down to five, you'll see the numerical equivalent there. Now when they get to five, those uh, enemy get very aggressive and they'll just charge right in on us. Yeah, but that's the nice thing about those red you know, laser barriers. That helps with that sort of that, that bonsai charge they do here at the end. So the thing is that they're keeping the distance. Like again, two and a half accuracy, two and a half damage. Everything is pretty much lethal at this point. There's not a lot of DBNOing going on on, on yeah. the side. There There's we go. There's a nice headshot, and we're down to four. We all really right, need so to get that scout. Look at all that energy. We need to get double. That, that you know, scout has to get out there and get out there now. Now yeah, you notice, know this notice those turrets. They're down because they're empty. We've yeah, got to get them filled. They lost two. If they, they were filled lost right now, scout. if they were filled right now, then this then this round would be over. Yeah, pretty much. But you know, I think once they pick up this energy, they're going to go uh, walk the dog and pick up their energy and then they're going to you know be able to let the engineer when the engineer comes back to, to fill up their and repair these centuries there we go 47 47 47 team gold glove is 47 we are getting close it's uh it's what an exciting evening it's been i can't even begin to tell you how uh how excited this has been it's just we've seen we've seen a couple of plays we're starting 48 rod here we go back on team fem steps are trying to push their way through 40. um you know, it looks like Guy Blaze is, uh, oh, Femstep is out, so we're looking at Guy Blaze through her camera. Uh, looks like Guy is about to go right here, pop up, and out he goes. Out he goes, that's unfortunate. That is, that's the problem. Step there. Too, you know, but but you know what, Ron, I gotta tell you, we saw them hit 20, we saw them try to get through, they played it time and time again, they finally got through it and they picked up speed. That could happen here. Totally. I mean, much the way that Femstep is grinding against 40, this could happen to this team Gold Glove at 50. You know, although they, they, they've been smart, they're holding on to their airdrops. Yep, which is you see them sitting there. going to pay off for them later, later waves. All right, we've got a bonus objective in the upper left-hand corner. You know, I think at this point, with all that's going on right now, the notion of running out with a chainsaw or a, or a, a retro charge, I think that'd be kind of a little bit foolish. It feels, feels reckless. Airdrops. It feels reckless. Yeah, it's just it's putting yourself out there in a threat you don't need. You already have a couple of airdrops in the bank. You don't need a second set, so I think it's better to just sit behind, cover, you know, chip away at them, and go from there. Gold Club is just doing awesome. Yeah, awesome he, I think stuff. he really likes this new sniper. I think he likes the MR, I agree. Yeah. He's just explosive headshot after explosive headshot. Again, the thing for him is that, I mean, it's good to get these uh, Grenadiers out of the way, but it's it's the bigger guys, the Scions, that yeah. has got to pop, and then the DR1s are the ones that he has to pop, the bigger ones. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I don't think they're going to focus on the objective that you indicated earlier, and it's just, there's just no, I'm sure it's a, it's, it's a very risky reward. Yeah, the, the risk is not worth it. It's just not worth the reward, especially since they already have, if they, if they didn't have airdrops, and they're about to make a push to 50, I'd say absolutely, like, you need those crates, but... They've already got a couple, so I think they've got enough to get there if they can survive a little too much. Do you think Team Gold Glove is saving that airdrop we see right there on the screen? They're saving it for 50. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, you know, when you got a two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and a little two and a half damage, two and a half action, two and a half health, carrier snatcher coming, if you can get five rocket launchers trained on, on that boss, then you want that. So I think they're hoping that that airdrop is five salvos and they're just going to bring it all the bear on the boss. Yep. See that, uh, see the swarm drone coming in here. Oh, oh see, that's what nice I'm talking shot. about, taking that Scion out. Yeah, that's a nice shot. And, then, and he actually got a double. The Scion, you know, headshot actually took off that's just the, the swarm drone next to him. It really pays off. All right, we're getting into a dangerous territory. If you notice those blue bars below each of those uh, turrets, they're getting low. 
You can see they're starting to reposition the turrets now. Yeah, they're getting set up for 49. I think they're expecting some a little bit of trouble on 49, so they don't want to lose anything going into the boss wave. So I think they're trying to be a little bit Oh, little we bit saw cagey. this strategy before. Yeah, where Gold yeah, point him at the wall. in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> point him at the wall, gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> you know, I guess I can mock all I want that's working for him, so what can yeah. I do? Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's, that's a risky... You've got to be careful with this walking the dog thing too far, because at this level, like, anybody can take you out, so yeah. you got to be really careful. So we're now we've got one enemy left. There, he's on, fact, oh, he's DB and O, so they're just going to... Oh, and he bled out. Yeah. Here we go, 48. 48 complete. We are... We're getting there. He's getting, I can feel it. It's getting close. Team Fenstep is uh, sitting at, at uh, wave 40. But they're doing the same technique as 20. If you look, they're already up to 19,000 in the Fabricator. I mean, yeah. to get to that level of energy in the Fabricator, it means that they've been just going and, and going like, you know what, this isn't the time. We're just going to keep grind, 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 yep. collect, collect, collect. And then at the right moment, we're going to pick that. That's going to be the moment. So I would, uh, you know, I would look and see if you can get to find one where you get a carrier, which is what they have now. And I think that might be the best one. Because I think the Snatchers, Snatchers tricky. So uh, I think the carrier would be the right moment, which could be now. There we go. So Femstep is out there again, frontlining, making sure she can get all of the uh, all the energy she can, so that get the team can rebound off this team sort of being stuck at 40. They're really they're looking at those heavy weapons. They like them. Yeah, it's just sometimes one of the things about an airborne enemy, if you you take it down on the wrong thing, sometimes that stuff falls in a bad place where you can't quite get to. All right, so we're sitting here at level 49, Rod. What's what's going through their minds? Uh, it's just basically at this point you're, you know, you you want to feel like you're. Watch. Uh, sorry, what? just seeing that oh. drop shot coming. Oh, there. See, headshot, drop shot. Yeah. Double that two and a half accuracy is is going to take you out. You got to be really careful. But I mean, it's just it's again you got to just stick to the plan. The sniper should be taking down the scions and all the big enemies from a distance. You want to be setting yourselves up for that big push at 50. You want to make sure you don't lose too many fortifications in the process, because again, as we yep. saw, once you lose the momentum and you start getting falling behind that energy and the power curve on that, you can be stuck and not be able to progress. They noticed it looks like they were switching weapons there. Yeah, they were just basically just calling for, hey, I, I'm out of ammo on my sniper, and we are like, well, here, how to take mine. You know, it's one of the great things you can do in the game, is you can actually trade off weapons and again, store the weapon block in those now, Rod has talked time and time again in Horde 3.0, it is critical that, that each of the classes plays their role. So at this point, the engineer has got to get in there. He's the one that can repair and refill those turrets, which have been so critical uh, going along. So you can see one of those turrets on the left is almost dry. The one in the center is almost dry. They've got to refill those things because they've been really, really, really contributing to the success here of this team. Yeah, you can see the, the two previous ones are like they have a 65 and a 61. The new one they've got places already got five kills. It's just one over here that has four kills. Is it pointing at the wall? Yeah, well that one there just they just placed that third one which we were talking about. We Does it like reset when you re when you put the when you put them back down? No, when you pick them up and move them, it doesn't reset the okay. count. Just want to make sure. So but basically though, it gets to a point where it gets really hostile for the engineer. So it's even even if you want to go out there and you want to repair it, it can, it can be a problem to get out there and do it. So uh, Alright, they're at level 49, they're taking out some of the bigger ones here. Yeah, they're 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 on the they're on the right side of this curve now. You can see yeah. they're already beyond the halfway point, they're down to probably a quarter of the enemy class. Uh, and so they feeling should be feeling pretty good at this point. They just gotta make sure to go like the Cyan Mulch, remember what I talked about, two and a half. Yes. Yeah, the sentries are doing it, taking that out for them. So you can see the sentry kill though, just took out the grenadier, just took out the mulcher. Those you can three see the engineer is doing exactly what he should be doing in the middle there at first. So he's moving it, but he's also repairing it. Yeah, and one of the things you can do, like we're already at the top at the level four, but when, when you pick up a fortification, if it isn't already at max level, you can upgrade it and put it back down. So and do it also, let's point out, with the active reload, you can see that just on the right upper right-hand corner, all the weapons have active reload. And it's kind of a mini game that people remember from Gears, where you, you know where you can load it right on the point. It kind of kind of gives you a little buff on the ammo, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, 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 uh, different uh, active reloads give different uh, benefits for doing it, but you definitely want to get good at nailing, especially if you're the soldier. There's actually skills that play into the active reload, so that if you're good at active reload, you can do a lot of damage. Now here he is. Look at this. He's hiding it back here. Uh, I, this sign, They've got one shot. enemy left. I don't know if they're gonna. I wonder if they're gonna purposely fail 50 to make some more money. I can't be right. All right, we've got this Scion Vulture coming in here. 
He's done some, see the last enemy left, and then we are, we're right now we're on the doorstep of 50. Yep. And I've got to be careful. This Mulcher could take them all out. Like, he's not messing around. If they, if they, if they get too cocky with this Mulcher, it could be over. Look at him. He's, 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 he's wandering just, around he's looking for closing on him. Now, they're trying to let the scout go around and pick it all up, but I'm just saying, two and a half accuracy, two and a half damage. He just has to look at you that like that. No he good. just took out Cody. He just looked at Cody and... So you got to be really careful. Picking up ammo. Yeah, picking up ammo. Just getting ready. They're walking the dog now. Right. Here we go. Just got to watch. They're, they're, they're playing. They're playing with fire right yeah, now. Yeah, this, this is this is they're they are pulling the tiger's tail. What's happened is the sentries. Yeah, see what happens. Look see, at that. That's two of them down, and the sentries are out of ammo, so they're not going to help. So it's it's down to the three of them now. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is this. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is they're playing with fire. There, there you go. Is, that's it. All right, nice here we job. are, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Wave 49 is complete with Team Gold Glove. They are getting ready. They're right now stepping into 50, and it's uh, it's 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 incredible how far we've come so far uh, in what we've seen in this gameplay, Rod. Yeah, it's been it's been amazing. I mean, they went down to a place where they had nothing, uh, no fortifications, the, a bare playing field, and but they had a lot of energy in the bank. You know, they they they, they stockpiled like what did we see something like 50,000 energy. Yep. And here we they, go. And they just did a push. They just All right. down a level, level 50. Four. Here we go, Team Gold Glove. They've got those turrets. They've been set up in this position. Looks familiar. They've had tremendous success with them. I don't see. There we go. We've, so we've got those laser fortifications at the top of the uh, steps there. They're moving another one into place. The, you know, no more. This is critical. The engineer is critical. They're all critical, but the engineer can't get sidetracked by trying to get kills. He's got to keep those turrets healthy. Absolutely. That's that's the big thing now is to visit. let drag, let them come to you, pull them in into so your killing zone, these sentries, and just pay attention to the boss. Okay, so they, it's a carrier. You can tell by the cankers attacking from range. And the big thing is to be again that splash damage with the two and a half damage. You're going to want to pull, pop them in the air. Right. If you don't, it's going to get real messy real fast inside. Now we have not seen the le the, the level boss yet, have we? I I thought I saw the splash of the carrier. Oh, yeah, there, there we it go. Is. So you can see that sentry is trying to do work on that on that carrier. But look at that, he's just he's just gonna come he can come in here now. He can take those sentries out, can he? Yeah, he's gonna do his he's gonna do his Hulk smash and he's gonna start and that's where you can see these guys start pulling their sentries back. Because they're like, this thing is getting way too close. There is a lot going on. And now they got drop shots coming in. There's the cake. No, that's that acid. Splash. Get out of the acid. Get, that's a good move. That is a smart move to get out of the acid. You can see he's Oh, he's tankers juiced. coming in. We gotta shoot those out of the sky. Yeah, we gotta shoot those out of don't the sky. Don't go into the poison, but look, don't go into the acid. Yeah, don't go into. Okay, there you go. Don't go into the light, kids. <laughs> all right, so he's now inside. He's ripping apart the. Uh, looks like all that. Looks like all of the. Uh, uh, we still have one of the turrets up. But that yeah. other turret is up. But Two sentries are down. Yeah, so they are now backed into a corner. Yeah, this is this the is, nightmare this scenario is, that we talked about a little bit earlier. Where they can they gotta stay mobile. If they can keep the carrier kind of spinning and play, uh-oh. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Uh-oh, oh. Yeah. No. This is this so is that close. Was tough. This is this is the nightmare scenario right yeah. here where they just saw that whole bunch of energy just got destroyed. Uh, and those those sentries, it's gonna be hard to replace all those sentries. So yeah, this if we can get Femstep and if they can push through to 41. This is their time to, to do the yeah. catch-up right here. Because, because, all right, they failed at level 40 here, Team Pem Steph. All right, Team Gold Glove is looking. They're 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 taking. They've got 15 seconds, 14 to fill until the wave begins. They're going out. Yeah, they're, again, we we this is a problem, right? They this if they were if they fail on 50 again, that uh, might be. Almost unrecoverable. They've still got that airdrop sitting there, Rod. We don't know what's in there, I but I, I would have thought they would have popped that one. You know, in the looks carrier. like they're going to do it. I think they're going to do it. Let's see what they're hoping for. They're praying for are the five salvos. Nope, they're not going to do it. So this may be a this may be a real in case of emergency break glass situation. Yeah, something going on with that one. So I just think there's nice shot. They have 38,000 in the bank. I think they're going to attempt a similar scenario they had at 40. I think they're, I think they're going to play this one clean. Yep. I think they're probably going to get 
wipe. We've got three people down now. Yeah, I think they're going to wipe, and they're going to continue to try to put some stuff in the bank. Yep. So I think they're just going to put, keep putting stuff in the bank for a little bit, and then go back and try to do another, like, hey, let's do a fresh draw and get a couple more sentries and go again. So I think they're going to do it, see, go as far as they can without really uh, building anything. But, I mean, on their own, you can see that two and a half accuracy on a buzzkill. It's just gonna tear you up. And there's the cankers. Just you know what? Just when you have everybody down, you want the canker. Drop shot. On you top want the of canker you. to come in and vomit acid into your party. <laughs> oh. That is difficult. <laughs> All right, you can see they've got about uh, thirty-eight thousand energies there. Oh, we got a swarm inside. Oh, there's the carriers taking him out. I'm telling you, they kind of. And here comes the drone. And, and he's gonna take pop, care of pop, that. Pop, ow! 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 ow. Oscar is no more. I think we're down this, to... No, so this is what we saw last time. They backed him into the corner. They, they just really surrounded and they yeah. rushed him. And this is tough because Follow is playing a scout and he's got a lot of, you know, short range weapons. Yeah. Stuff and, and it's not going to help. He may be corner. in the wrong class, in the wrong play. Oh, there we go. Got lucky. Wrong. And there yeah. you go. <laughs> that's, that's what happens. It's melee to the face. So they gotta, they just gotta settle in now. I think they, they've got, I think they have enough energy in the bank. They can, just, they can bring it now. They just gotta like turn it on, put down the two big sentries. So that's what you would do up. right now. You'd bring down the sentries, throw up a couple, kind of basically put them back where they were before. Yeah, that would be. I, I thought they were doing. They, I think maybe where they, they might have failed was they didn't have the turrets. Yeah. Right. Like they had great success before with the man turret. Yeah. And I think they could have, if they had, if they had had that before, I think that, that was a chance. You know, to, to bring it all back. All right, so they got uh, about eight seconds until the wave starts. When will the when will the uh, boss spawn in? Will it come right at the top, or is it random when it spawns in throughout uh, the match? It generally comes at the top. Like you'll, you'll do it, you'll get one, and you'll get a bunch of support minions as well. So it kind of keeps you on your toes. But again, if, you, if you're too effective and you take out that boss right away, there's enough points left in, to, in order to pick what to spawn next that you could get a second boss. So. What you kind of want to do is you want to kind of harvest the minions, use up those points, get that red bar to go down, and then when you kill the boss, then a the second boss can't come back in. See that carrier's coming on the left side, and uh, Gold Glove is using his sniping capabilities to try to wait for that position, wait for that uh, section to open up when he when the carrier pulls back. Yeah, and they really have no investment right now in where they're defending, so I think that makes them, allows them to be mobile. I think what happens now is that as they're pushing, if, if, they, if they feel like the carrier is coming in the left, I think they could escape out the right, basically set the same kind of defense they have on the other side, because it's a symmetrical map, uh, and then and, and just kind of keep mobile like that right now. They, haven't, they don't have any sentries, they don't have any barriers. There's no reason to live in this corner. Now what's interesting is we've seen them uh, Taking on that, uh, taking on that boss. But they've See, really got to worry about now. The I boss is too close. Right this point. Here he is. The boss is in. He. If they get backed into a corner again, there's there's no way out. Yeah, they they, just, they don't have the. Ooh, that was so close. Yeah. And, and, and he's down. Yeah. So yeah. This is what's I think this they're this just trying to harvest a little bit because they're, they're not spending any energy. Yeah. So I think they're trying to avoid going into that place where you can never recover, like we have no energy and yep. no fortification. So I think they're like, hey, we've got 40,000 in the bank. Let's just harvest for a little bit, yep. get ahead of that power curve, yep. it's okay. and then come back in full. Because you can see that energy is still on the ground there from their previous kills, so they can go around and collect that and, and get a little bit more in the bank. Is this, we're seeing in the upper left-hand corner there, the fabricator, uh, uh, the, the, the amount they've got in the fabricator, is that a good number at this point at wave 50? Uh, or would you it, like to see more? No, I mean, you always want to see more, but it, it's about, um, without seeing the, the fabricator UI, the S Gold Glove, I know, I don't know why that's doing that. Um, you always want to have more, but it was, it's hard to tell like how far away what they're saving up for. Sure. You know, if it's 40,000 for a turret, or 40,000 for a, uh, you know, for for shock turrets, but it's about the, again how you use your fortification. We didn't see a lot of decoy play. Uh, we didn't see a lot of combinations of fortification play that you see people who know, you know the mode really well. So I think part of this is just this challenge, just because it's the first time they play. We if you play for the first time when you get it on October 7th, you're gonna say, you know what, I need to learn this. I'm gonna play it on casual. Right. And then you'll go through and learn techniques and strategies, and then you're gonna go up to normal, and then when you come to hardcore, you're coming after playing several rounds of it. So for them to come in cold at hardcore is their first experience playing. Like, 
And to get to 50 and to get to 40, it's amazing what they've been able to do with their first time playing. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a big push. Yeah, I was worried Gold Glove got caught. Look at that Grenadier just taking <laughs> this leg. Oh, yeah. yeah. He got caught with a long-range weapon and a close-range Yeah, I mean, the that Swarm Grenadier had the shotgun, and again, two and a half accuracy, two and a half damage. That, that, that shotgun's going to tear them apart. All right, back over to Team Femstaff, sitting at level 40. They see that boss, they're just laying into it. Now, you'll notice that the Team Femstaff, they just don't have quite the fortifications that the other team did, but... You know, uh, okay, we can see a little bit of what they've got back here, but they they kind of made a conscious decision here. They've uh, they've been a little bit more scrappier. Yeah, they've been they've been relying on their like hand-eye coordination. Oh, don't run into it. Don't run into it. Uh, and it's you know it's actually served them really well. I mean, it's been it's, that shows the caliber of play, like how good they're playing. Right. Is that they're able to get this far on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, no. Oh, squish your head. Ouch. Uh, so the fact that they got this far, just being you know talented at the game, is is, is amazing. Uh, but I think when they look at when the game comes out and they're and they're going back into this, I think they're going to find they're going to play a lot more sort of strategically around. Hey, what do we need to build? How do we build it? How do we kill, create lanes where we, we're funneling enemies into it that the sentries can take out for us, uh, and relying a lot more on their fortifications. There we go. We just part to start wave 50. First to 50, tuning in right now in the arena at PAX West. My name is Larry, here with Xbox Live's Major Delson. I'm sitting here with Rod Ferguson from the Coalition. Gears of War 4 out in October. October 7th, early access. If you get the Ultimate Edition, October 11th for everything else. Uh, you'll be able to play this and much more. Now, now what you're not seeing is you're not seeing some of the other uh, bosses that are in here because you've purposely not included them. Well, we want to have a few secrets in the game, right? So we, we, we kept some stuff out of this. and. Uh, so some of the stuff you are seeing is some exclusive content. You're seeing here Zombie Dom. Yep. You're seeing Old Man Marcus. You're seeing Tomorrow Anya. Those are characters that you can only get through pre-ordering, whether you pre-order at a retailer or pre-order digitally online. Those are you, that's the only way to get these. These are exclusive. They're not time exclusives. They're not yep. going to come out at a later date. These are pre-order only. So if you want to get Zombie Dom, you want to get Old Man Marcus, please go ahead and pre-order. And then if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you get to play on October 7th and you get a bunch of other cool things like JD, Vintage Dell, and a bunch of other weapon skins, a lot of cool stuff. All right, we're seeing this level 50. This is the last level. You see they're chewing it through. Have we seen the boss yet? I haven't seen them. I haven't seen they're trying, to, they're trying to protect uh, their their friend there. All right, let's get them up. Good. Let's get that team yeah. back in action, guys. Go back up. You need that sniper. They've got a sentry in place, so they spent, oh, they spent all their money. This is their push. Yeah, they're down to 2,000 energy here. Uh, they, why they're not popping that loot crate, I don't know. Well, that that airdrop is something they should be really trying to take advantage of. That airdrop of. is staring at them. Come on, guys. There's no, there's no shame in popping it. <laughs> there is no shame. Yeah, they got to get it. these cankers in the air. They got to pop these cankers in the air. There you go. Yeah, all right, so he's now inside. Him that. See this time Somebody time should again. be pulling that sentry back. Somebody should be risking it all and pulling us. That's going to take out the sentry. A couple more smashes like that, and that sentry's gone. They got it. There we go. There. Oh, yeah. That's that's, that's exactly what we that don't want at this point in the game. Yeah. No, we needed that sentry doing it, doing its work. We've got to be careful. Those skankers coming in, guys. Get out of skankers, there. Skankers, get out of there. Get roll out. There. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, we're being pressed by a guardian. Uh, sorry, a grenade. Okay, now there. we're now we're kind of in this run, acid run, corner. Run, 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 run. Get run. out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get behind it. Get behind it. Michael, well, you got this. You got We've this. got a world of hurt going on right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, so close. Stop. So close. 